What's up, everybody? Remember growing up as a kid when your parents or somebody used to tell you that sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me? Well, whoever came up with that saying, that's a bold faced lie. Words hurt, especially if they come from somebody you respect, somebody you care about or somebody whose opinion actually matters in your life. Now, granted, of course, if somebody who you could care less about or, you know, you being a little kid, because you know the whole purpose of saying that is just that as a little kid, kids are mean. And when kids say things, it's a way that, you know, you learn not to take everything so seriously and how to build up a thick skin. But truth be told, words do hurt. So that's why we have to make sure that whenever we're, we're careful with our words and we're careful with what we say. Now, of course, we run across people who are careless with their words. They don't care what they say. They don't care how they say it. When you're dealing with people that you actually love, you care about, you respect, you learn that as you get older, you learn that it's not always what you say, but it's how you say it. And we gotta be better at how we say certain things. Now, one thing my mom told me that helped me out growing up is that she taught me to treat both praise but also criticism the same. So therefore, when somebody gives you praise, you thank them, but you don't let it go too much to your head, but also if somebody gives you criticism, you also don't take it too much to the head or take it too much to heart either. You both take them for what they are, thank them for both comments, whether it's praise or criticism, but that you keep it moving. Because if you let people put you too high up, when the fall comes, you're not gonna be prepared for it. When it comes to criticism, don't take it to heart because not all criticism is bad. Sometimes criticism could be used to help you get better, to critique, to let you see what you need to work on. But then all for those who always wanna give you negative comments, trying to constantly put you down, don't take it too much to heart because some people are just haters. Some people just don't like what it is that you're trying to do, even though it's something that can be beneficial, not only to you, but that can be beneficial to others as well. So when it comes to people trying to puff you up too high or put you down too low. Take them comments in stride and to keep moving forward. Words can heal and words can hurt. So let us try to practice always trying to focus on words that can heal and that can build up. That if you are using any type of words or you're speaking to someone, to give some critique, make sure that as you're tearing them down, you are finding other words and ways to build them back up. So be sincere and when you're sharing your words and then when you're being critical, don't be overly critical, or as I like to say, if you're being honest, don't be, you don't have to be brutally honest. Because I remember there was a time where I told myself, I'm gonna be as honest with people as possible. But sometimes I was being brutally honest. And as I got older, I realized you could be honest with people, give critique or criticism, but give it in a way that it'll help build them up instead of just trying to tear, 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 and tear them down and thinking you're being helpful, but really you just completely destroying this person's confidence and destroying anything or any hope that they may have had. But at the same token, you don't want to puff them up or never say anything bad because then you give them this false sense of confidence or they're actually better at something than they actually are. So be sincere with your words, be aware of the situation, and try something different, try something new. Like for example, try to give somebody a compliment who you normally don't compliment, whether they have a nice shirt, they have a nice tie, they smell good, you have a nice smile, something positive because you will find out that even in most some of the most harsh conditions or harsh situation that a positive answer or a positive response can sometimes calm a situation down or make it not as hostile as it could be if you don't have anything nice to say don't say anything at all it works sometimes just not to say anything remember sticks and stones may break my bones or words will never hurt me it's not entirely true but in the same token just be wise with your words, be sincere with your words, and make sure you're using the correct words for the correct situation. And you do that, you'll find yourself to be just a little less stressful. I can't say it'll be stress-free, but it'll help make it just a little less stressful. So until I see you guys next time, peace out.